Eh guys, so this is the Kaikohuru Cruiser by Avasles. This is the most popular ship on the Space Engineers Workshop. It has over 115,000 subscribers and the ship was released all the way back in 2015 and it was less updated in 2017. So by the way, the ship is rotating by itself because of all the subgrids inside which is kind of funny and there's no way you can build this ship on any survival server at least any public one because the ship has almost 115,000 PCU and you know <laughs> I mean all right let's let's fly around the ship oh you can see all those old design practices you don't even see any DLC skins on the armor. It's all just the default armor textures. Oh, wow. All these rocket pods with all these uh, interior turrets mounted very weirdly on the front of the ship. I mean, considering it's the most popular ship, people must like the ship. Oh, there's embedded connector. That's not good. There's some auto farms down here and rocket turrets, more thruster banks down here, interior turrets. I think this is a docking camera or something, or maybe a parking camera, downward hangar. All right, uh, let's check the top of the ship. <laughs> There's some interior turrets. Uh, all right. Let's get inside now. I think that's the whole exterior. Huh. There's a collector there. That's interesting. So obviously over the seven years since the ship has uh, since the ship was released, there have been many advancements and understanding in general in how people build their ships. Even in the aesthetic of the ship itself, you can sort of see the age of the ship and it's kind of beautiful in its own way all right what are these buttons here enemy detection sensors well that will barely do anything these days interior doors close extend walkway left hanger what oh there's a walkway made out of hanger doors I mean, this is from before we have like this grated catwalk, so you know. And I think this was before PCU as well. So it's understandable why they would do this kind of things. That would be barely acceptable these days because of the PCU count and stuff. And this is the right hanger walkway. Alright, we have the jump drive there behind a window and I'm guessing these buttons do the same things. Alright, let's get inside now. Oh by the way, here's the welcome message. Welcome aboard the Kaikohuru. Please be mindful to close all doors behind you to maintain airlocks. You mean pressurization? Do not press buttons you are unfamiliar with. I'll keep that in mind. Obey the comments of your superior. You mean the advertisers? I'm just kidding. And remember, a clean ship is a happy ship. Ship serial 1085379. All right, and we have a light down here. Pretty interesting. So we have a simple airlock. That's good. Hmm. Elevator shaft. This is before leather shaft was a thing. And here's another door. Wow. What are these? Interior doors, interior doors, music. Hmm, interesting. So I have already explored the ship just a little bit before, but I haven't really explored it like the whole entirety of the ship. Oh, by the way, if you see my camera is shaking, that's not my camera. That's the ship's subgrids moving around. All right, I'm going to turn off my headlight. Oh, yeah, there's uh, an interior turret up there, by the way. Uh, some kind of a room with 
programmable block oh these are bets by the way this is how people used to do bets on space engineers before the decorative blocks dlc's oh this is so ancient there's more fence there more bed in here what are these these are the steel catwalk what oh wow it's been like a while since i used that block that i kind of forgot that variation exists at all mm. this also used to be a big thing these are hanger doors window cover which is pretty crazy on pc <laughs> all right i'm guessing the thing on the right side is the same thing all right let's go to the front here we have more interior turret and the ship is still shaking there's elevator here wow this ship is really big oops whoa something just clanged down there oh this is interesting that's like a visual representation of the ship all right let's check the escape pods wow <laughs> oh here's the cryo chambers wait where's the escape pods are these the escape pods uh battle mode <laughs> passive mode prepare escape pods escape pod countdown all right let's try this Mm, countdown hmm <coughs> it must be doing something maybe it's because i have scripts disabled so oh oh these are the escape pods so i'm guessing if the scripts are enabled then this would open and those would launch outside huh i do wonder how you can get the passengers inside I'm guessing you just get in from here. That's pretty interesting. And they use space balls. So it's like an artificial gravity base. Escape pod. That's very interesting. Alright. And in here. This is a... Uh, well, I'm not sure if I can explore the whole ship by the way. Because it's really huge but i'll see what we can explore here so this is one of the hangers there's some welders there oh by the way i kind of laugh at the ship a lot but you know i'm not really mocking the ship because uh the ship was made a very long time ago so i don't really judge the ship like that this is like an ancient artifact of space engineers and that that is like a value in itself hmm interesting compartment all right let's try to find the bridge now uh there's more jump drive in here so this door over here this airlock just drops you down down there uh lower ship hanger elevator so this is the floor that we were on and this is the elevator to go to the upper floor <laughs> i like the random clanging what is this oh wow is this like a table or something with subgrid that's kind of crazy uh this is one of the control rooms i suppose none of those are is the main cockpit wow that's scary all right i'm guessing this is like the cic and in here we have a medical room uh more elevator wow all right so this leads downstairs to the entrance to the elevator shaft that we saw earlier and i'm guessing it's another one over there i'm gonna leave that alone what is that is that a projector huh 
interesting so up here i'm guessing this is the main bridge all right all right let's check the internals the ship has a lot of batteries that's great the ship has a lot of reactors i would assume yeah wow well, that's like a lot of reactors and the ship also has lots of gyroscopes refinery all right the ship does have refineries that's good assemblers the ship has assemblers that's great hydrogen tank there's no hydrogen tank here huh i'm not sure if they even had hydrogen back then hmm i'm trying to remember but let's continue no h2 generator obviously the solar panels wow that's a lot more than i thought i saw i'm guessing these are the escape pod solar panels mm, oxygen what they don't have any oxygen tank were this before pressurization huh i'm not sure and obviously a lot of programmable blocks for all the uh scripted stuff oh that's the arc furnace so these days those are called basic refineries i think they used to be named arc furnace and in terms of weaponry i mean for its time i would say this is pretty decent but not for the pcu because this ship is really an overkill in terms of pcu and there is a lot of gravity generators all right let's see how the ship flies now hmm it's kind of slow but compared to like space engineers ships from back then this is actually not that bad but of course with this kind of acceleration you won't be able to like dodge enemy fire so you will have to tank your enemy fire and i'm guessing the ship is all heavy armor let's see now light armor heavy armor outside so it's kind of like a composite armor configuration there is heavy armor outside but the inside is mostly light armor i think <laughs> i just cannot get over how ridiculous this configuration of thrusters is because that's gonna be like so expensive to make on survival so i thought the ship has missiles like scripted missiles but i'm guessing all the subgrids were just escape pods and not missiles so that's very interesting oh well, there's a laser antenna here so the main armament of the ship are just the turrets and the rocket launchers wait what is this over here because that's not the hangar hold on a minute hmm let me open all the hangers actually so those things over there oh uh all right so this is the missile launcher and welder system i would assume so that's a very interesting uh system and you can see this uh gravity generators so i'm guessing these are gravity based missiles or maybe not even missiles maybe they are just projectiles because they use gravity it used to be very popular back then but you know these days people would know that it's very easy to dodge that kind of projectile especially because ships these days especially combat ships are a lot faster than how it was back then at least if they are properly built all right so before i crash this on the planet i'm gonna try shooting at the ship with rail guns and cannons and then we're gonna see how well this ship can hold up against new weapons all right cannons artillery cannons oh so i'm guessing it will actually do kind of well actually because the outer layer is all heavy armor so i think they won't see that much penetration <clears throat> well there's some penetration here but it's not like catastrophic so it's able to hold up quite nicely against artillery but 
of course in actual battle it will lose since it won't be able to dodge all the fires and it has very few guns on it so uh, proportionally speaking to the PCO the ship isn't that great for combat but again this was from the time before PCO was a thing so I'm not gonna judge the ship too much on that all right let's try rail guns now here goes Hmm. So, since the ship doesn't have hydrogen tanks and <laughs> things are kind of all over, shooting it in the middle kind of does nothing. So, I'm gonna shoot it one more time, and this time we're gonna shoot at the engine compartments. I mean, the thruster compartments. Alright, here goes. Oh, let's check the damage now. Oh wow, that actually held up quite nicely because these big thrusters are actually quite strong. <coughs> so yeah, that's very interesting to know. Oh wait, there are also gyroscopes here. So this kind of dampen the whole... Oh wow, that's not a good idea by the way, to group up all your gyroscopes like that. Because if you lose this section over here, like you got shot a lot over there, you're gonna lose a lot of control to your ship. So I just checked my game settings and scripts are actually enabled so I'm not sure why the escape pods weren't working but anyway we're gonna crash on the planet and then I'm gonna try to escape with the escape pods Alright so since the gravity generator won't work in gravity I'm gonna have to escape by launching the escape pod manually so I'm gonna wait until it's like two kilometers or something and then we're gonna launch the escape pod I'm not sure if I can even maneuver down there but we'll see oh the ship rotates on its own uh, I need to use off right so that the escape pod like points down there uh, um, this one this one uh, I don't think we're surviving this crash alright we still have five kilometers no pitch over it nothing seems to be working ah uh, we still have four kilometers all right all right uh gy 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 uh gyroscopes put everything to pitch over it oh oh well all right two kilometers i'm gonna launch the escape pod uh are we launching oh <laughs> well i don't think we're gonna escape this one all right here it goes ah uh, ooh oof the lag oh no oh, my frames oh i actually survive <laughs> did you guys see that i'm the sole survivor <laughs> all right that's the kaikohuru cruiser by i forgot the name by FSLess, you can find the link in the description below. This is a real wonderful ancient relic. Oh, this is my new outfit by the way. Do you guys like it?